Hey guys, it's October 16th. Um, I'm at my parents' house tonight. I decided to come home for the day. I had a couple of rough days there where I was, um, mood was just not there. I was really unhappy. I was at work yesterday and literally I, I just couldn't do it. Like I worked the morning and then I had to work the dinner rush at night and I, I was just not there. And if you're on prep, you know, like working during prep, especially a job like delivering and working off tips, um, it's not really ideal especially when you're really in your own head. So um, I decided to step back from work, actually. My boss is really understanding. I'm super thankful, super lucky to have him as my boss. Um, and my parents are gonna, you know, help me out a little bit. And that's very nice of them too, because this show means the world to me. And if I was to have something, you know, take away from it, that's that like work, like my job, that's a temporary job in my opinion, you know, bodybuilding is going to be my life, like men's physique competitions, uh, maybe classic physique next year, who knows. So really, uh, for my mental health currently, I'm just taking a step back. And tonight I'm actually doing a little bit of a refeed. I'm three weeks out and I'm pretty close to uh, where I need to be for men's physique, especially. Um, so... Right now, I am actually just waiting for my parents to get back. I'm getting some cassada, uh, which if you know cassada, it's it's pretty healthy. It's all good. Um, I'm only doing about 200 calories more than I usually would because I didn't eat much today, and this meal is going to be amazing. I'm also going to have a Halo Top after, which if you know Halo Top, you know it's the container is 300 calories, and... I couldn't be more excited, honestly. I think my body is going to be so thankful tomorrow morning, especially. I'm still going to wake up and do my fasting cardio. The plan stays the same. Um, but from now on, I am going to up my calories a little bit, uh, mostly carbs. And the reason is because my fatigue is just like no other after my workout. Like, and the problem is when your fatigue's like that on prep, your brain's not there. And I need to be able to think, I need to be able to live a little bit during this prep because um, it really hit me by storm. Like I, it hit me all of a sudden and I was so done, honestly, especially yesterday. And my legs right now are so sore. Like I have this one spot on my quad, on my inner thigh, on my right leg. And it, it's just, it's, it feels like death. And I need to be able to work out legs. It, it, like that's I'm a, I'm a competitor at the end of the day, but I need to be able to work out my legs. That's something that I enjoy. Um, but I'm gonna keep the cardio the same and the calories are gonna go from 1700 probably to around 1800, I think, honestly. So carbs wise, I think there, there's four calories in a gram of carbs. So um, it's about an extra 25 or so grams of carbs which will make all the difference in my opinion like I can then have I can either choose to do four carb meals a day or I can just revolve more carbs around training be a little bit more you know if I want to have some strawberries now I can do that so I I'm pretty happy right now the stress has gone down a lot and I think honestly not working as much now I'm going to be able to push the cardio harder and rest more. Like I can go home and lay down if I need to. Um, probably gonna spend more time at my parents' house too because isolating myself in my place right now, it has been kind of hard. Um, mostly just the mental aspect. And I think I was holding on to a lot of water and probably not making as much progress as I wanted to because I was stressed out, like stressed as hell. Like I still have to work tomorrow and Monday and but I'm not stressed about it because I know after that I'll have about four days off and I know that my progress for those four days is going to be so much greater than if I was working so that's why tonight I'm doing a refeed and I, I couldn't be more excited and I'm actually going to wake up um, still do my fasting cardio and then I actually want to show you guys what my how my body reacts so I think tomorrow is going to be a full day in the life um, and I'm excited so have a great night guys and I'll see you tomorrow First off, 
look at this thing that my mom got me. It's called a Huggy. Um, it gets really cold in my apartment in the morning. And this thing is, oh, so comfy. It makes me very happy. As well as the food that I got to eat last night. That made me very happy. And I can tell my body right now is, it's thanking me. I woke up um, 136.4. Um, and yesterday morning I was 136.2 so my calories were the same the only thing that was different was it was a bigger meal than I would usually do and there was a little bit more fat and a little bit more carbs That's it. and I'm deciding to up the carbs a little bit anyways because my recovery has not been there uh, but we're gonna keep the cardio the same as well a refeed really can almost help with fat loss. If you're kind of stuck, I find my weight has kind of, it hasn't really wanted to go down at this point. I think I'm still getting a little bit leaner. Um, it's just slowed down quite a bit, but I'm thinking this refeed will be nothing but a positive thing for me. Um, right now I'm just having my coffee. I'm probably gonna go train legs in about an hour. Um, it's currently like 5, 15 a.m. Get after it early guys um whether it's fasted cardio in the morning or like not fasted cardio if you don't want to do it you don't it's whatever you want i do fasted cardio because it saves me a meal for after obviously since i'm training legs i will definitely be eating i think i'm going to do protein pancakes i don't know if you guys know like kodiak cakes but they're kind of the shit honestly i advise you to try them if you haven't um, very good macros. I'll share the macros probably when I'm eating them, uh, just so that you guys get an idea of just how you have choices with the foods you eat. You can choose to eat more of certain foods or you can eat very little. Like if I was to make like pancakes, like on their own, just, I would probably get like one pancake, but you'll see the amount of food that I get for about, I think it's about, um, an extra, it's, uh, 285 calories in pancakes. And then I put some Walden Farms, uh, maple walnut, uh, syrup on it. And it's, it's so good. I'll show you guys, uh, the finished product when I get. Hello again, We're making some pancakes. I cannot wait to eat these. Like I'm, I'm not even like, it's pretty early. I'm not even crazy hungry. It's, I haven't had protein pancakes in probably quite a while. So, now this sauce, goaded. Like it, it's so good. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. I, I try not to go too crazy on the artificial stuff because it, it's not good for you still. Like even if it's zero calorie, it doesn't mean it's good for you. So you'll see like I'll definitely be mindful about how much I use. I'll try to be at least. It's hard sometimes when, when you're on prep, it's hard to be mindful because most of the time you're starving, but it's early in the morning. Um, right now it's probably like, it's probably around seven, I think. And we'll go train pretty much right after this. Like as soon as I eat the pancakes, I'll make my pre-workout, which I'll show you. Um, then yeah, it's time to go to the gym and get to business. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, these are the pancakes. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm pretty excited. And then I'll show you how much sauce. I don't know if you can see the drizzle. But there's something really satisfying about a, about a nice drizzle on your pancakes. Where it just comes out really nicely. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys 
So I'm doing a scoop of impact always for free. Um, I got my glutamine and creatine. And then of course, hydro aminos by TC nutrition. These are so tasty. Um, and yeah, that's what I'll be doing for my pre-workout. Um, gonna smash these pancakes and then I'm gonna try to film today some mostly just my top sets probably on what I do for legs it's like day it, it's gonna be tough today I, I definitely I don't know if I mentioned but there's this part of my quad on the teardrop that's pretty sore still but um, it feels so much better than yesterday to the point that I think that if I mostly focus the outer quad by um, keeping my stance pretty close. I'm gonna do front squats. Um, I think it's gonna be a good leg day and I'm gonna do a lot of hamstrings today. I don't really, gotta be honest, I don't really focus my hamstrings too much often, but uh, I think that's why today it's important too. So, see you guys soon. Hey guys, so just a quick little update. Um, I went to my gym, it's currently like 7.20 and I realized on Sundays that they're not open till 8, so I'm at Tim Hortons, trying to keep my pre-workout going by drinking a small black coffee. Dying because I can't get like a muffin or anything, like I saw the muffins and I just, muffins are driving me nuts, but it smells so good in here. Staying strong though, I'm just having my, uh, my coffee, so I don't know. I'll definitely be excited to go to the gym at eight. I'm probably gonna go sit in my car there at like, I'm like right there, so probably like 7.45 and just wait. Be the first one in, get right down to business, so. Keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so yesterday I went pretty light. I started off with just some front squats to put some blood flow through my quads and it felt pretty good, honestly, like, going super deep. I haven't done front squats in a while. You can see I kind of hit that point at the bottom where I bounce up. I go, going low is the goal, obviously. You know, you get a way better range of motion. You get a better weight feel in your muscles. So, um, yeah, it wasn't super heavy, but I got a really good feel. Started my workout really good. Um, and then we move into the leg press, and I do single leg. And the reason I do single leg is because I feel I can focus it a little bit more on each leg. I find one my right leg always takes over a little bit if I don't. So you can see here, like, pretty slow. Um, really trying to just be a little bit easy on the muscle right now. Um, injury is... You have a higher chance of injury if you're in a deficit like I am, especially if you're doing a lot of cardio. So, and especially if you're trying to hold on to a lot of muscle, um, then I say take it easy, you know. There's no, you're not going to be gaining muscle right now in this big of a deficit. All you can really hope to do is maintain what you have. And I'm actually really proud of how much muscle I have retained so far. I, I really wouldn't say that I've lost any, you know, and if, if any, probably just a little bit. So now this exercise is what I want to talk to you guys about. We have an abductor machine, but it's upstairs. So I do this little circuit and it hits kind of parts of the leg that you otherwise wouldn't. This hits the, my inner thigh on the inside leg because it kind of has to like, see how it kind of gets dragged there when the when my right leg goes up. Um, I actually feel it a lot in my inner thigh there. And then I go straight into the, I keep my foot here um, to the side and it really works the glutes. I recommend you guys try this one. Yes, guys have to work out the glutes too. It is a muscle that we have and it helps your squat. It helps everything strengthen your glutes, guys. It's. You know, it's one of those things that um, you will not regret. Um, and it's not only for girls to work out. And then this part, inner thigh again, I find. Also, it just really good squeeze. Um, my left leg kind of, it's 
takes a little bit of the attention by um, going down a little bit and then my right leg just brings it in and you can kind of get this like tight feeling on both legs I find. Um, so again, just a little bit of good finishing. Now, this exercise, if you have this machine, I highly recommend that you try it. It, it keeps you so secure and your hamstrings get burn. Like if you do a good squeeze at the bottom, you get best burn. Um, probably my favorite hamstring exercise that we have. And I did film, more, I did do more exercises, but I couldn't film them just due to, like, you wouldn't really see anything. Um, like the leg extension, and I did the hand control. But, um, they yeah, guys have just a pretty light leg like, dude, but a good one. Hey guys. Um, I just got back from the gym. I was there a little bit early because, yeah, I think you know. And... So I'm eating a little bit later than I hoped. So I got home and I just ate 50 grams of steak, uh, cold, just to get something in my system. And uh, yeah, so now I'm making cream of wheat. And honestly, I haven't been this hungry in a while. I, I pushed the cardio really hard today really proud of myself but it's also tough like I just feel so drained now so I think I'm gonna eat quickly so I'm not gonna show you guys anything else but I'm gonna probably take a nap after and then I'll see you after that hopefully for my next meal which I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet but I'll let you guys know okay see ya I'm actually just getting ready for some more fasted cardio um Got some caffeine, probably take some more Yohimba and I already took some today, but I feel, feel ready to go. Um, also drinking a lot of water, probably two or two and a half of these a day. So I'm probably around like five liters. I, I goal is to hit four, but with how much cardio I'm doing, it's sometimes I just, I just drink and I can't, I can't stop. And it's never a bad thing. Cause you'll just flush it all out. Right. Like I go in the sauna probably once a day too, um, for recovery. So, but yeah. Still just drinking, excuse me, choking on my coffee. Um, this coffee is really good and it's really quick to make. That's that is more so convenient for me. That's mostly the reason that I drink this one. I don't have a coffee maker. I have this pot that I boil water in and it works. So, um, yeah. Uh, do one thing that I wanted to talk about is caffeine for cardio. I highly advise it. Um, if you're if you're not going to train and you're not taking like a pre workout, it's hard to motivate yourself for cardio sometimes. And like right now, I'm not having a problem with motivation. I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, I've been doing a shit ton of vitamin C lately, and it works. I don't know, man. Like I I uploaded the or I did like two thousand milligrams of caffeine. Or sorry of vitamin C and I gotta say it it did the stuff so highly advise you guys to look into what works best for you for vitamin C but uh I've been kind of hyperloading it and I think it helps your mood honestly like my mood bounced back so quickly after the gym so one thing to keep in mind for sure but uh yeah fatigue is not there right now I am ready to go I I'm gonna probably just down this. I gotta stop and get some shampoo so I can shower after the gym because I feel gross, but they didn't want to take two showers a day. I don't want to be moisturizing my face every, because I moisturize after it, every time I shower because I, I care about my skin. What can I say? So, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you for my post cardio meal, which will be um, mashed cauliflower and chicken and mashed cauliflower, if you guys didn't know, it's really good. I highly advise you to try it out. It has like, for a good amount of, uh, I do two servings, which is about 240 grams of it. It's, um, I think it's 14 grams of carbs, which is pretty low, but it'll be enough for me, honestly, with drinking an energy drink. And uh, 
as well. It has like, one second, I'll check. It has, so it has 12 grams of fat, which is, this is one of my only fat sources for the day. So I was gonna record my uh, post uh, cardio meal. I completely just crushed it. I was starving, so I'm sorry, but you can see the remnants. It was cauliflower rice, um, 240 grams with 150 grams of chicken and just a little bit of sugar-free ketchup. No sugar added, sorry, not sugar-free. <clears throat> now I gotta go to work. It's not in love with the fact that I gotta go to work, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. And uh, after that, gonna go get some groceries and make a burrito bowl later, and I'll show you guys that. See you then. Hey guys, so I'm actually just throwing together quite the concoction. I'm gonna do like a burrito bowl. Um, got some good stuff. So we got some coleslaw. Uh, we got these tortillas that I'm gonna throw into the oven and they're super low calorie actually. Um, two tortillas are only 90 calories, uh, 18 grams of carbs. So I'll probably just do two of those honestly. Kind of sad, but um, black beans. Got some low calorie salsa. Uh, we got some banana peppers, Liberty Greek yogurt. This is a good replacement for like sour cream. Um, tastes a lot like sour cream, but it's low calorie. I'm not even gonna do three quarters of a cup. I'm probably gonna do like 50 grams. So it'll be really low calorie. Got a tomato, of course, love tomatoes. And then in the pan, we got some cauliflower rice and 150 grams of chicken. And yeah, I think there's something else that I'm adding. Oh yeah, corn, always corn. Um, there might be another thing, but um, oh yeah, some lettuce. And I'm just gonna, it's a large volume of food, but it's pretty low calorie. So I'm starving, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna show you guys it and then uh, I'm gonna smash it. I'll see you guys soon. Look at that guys. So I left a lot of my carbs and calories for right now and I mean a lot of it is like kale cabbage um, spinach and um, lettuce but and like tomatoes and it's a lot of vegetables so it's really like low calorie foods but um got chicken in there we got some tortilla wraps and stuff so it's I'm so excited I'm gonna smash it and then I think that'll be it for the day. I'll show you kind of everything that I worked out today. Um, there was a couple sets that I didn't film. And just because you can't really see on leg day, like for the leg extensions, you can't, I had no way to film that. Um, one day I hope to get like good camera, tripod, and I'll be filming a lot better, I wanna say. So, but yeah, I hope that you liked this video better than the last one. I started filming with a better camera on the back, so I'm not able to see myself, but, it um camera quality is better so hope you guys liked it and uh if you could like comment and subscribe that mean a lot i'll uh catch you in the next one